rotate this box. What's the word? I'm trying to see if I can rotate this mom. Right, they said them are a lot. Get him down with this mom. What's the word with it? I'm still trying to figure this mug out. How the hell? This mug straight won't let me flip this mug. Hold on, let me see at the top. This is a rotation thing. Let me see if I can flip it. Let's see if I can flip it. Trying to be holding this mug the whole time. Yeah, but what's the word, man? Yeah, man, it's been a little minute. You know, I've been doing a little music, playing with uh, playing with YouTube and whatnot, man. But I could have put it up here sideways anyway, cause I gotta get it started with the incense. You know what I'm saying? I gotta let YouTube hate on me for a second, man. I gotta get started with the incense, man. Get rolling. Gotta get it started. You know what I mean? Much peace and love. Blessings to the ancestors. Peace and love to everybody, man. Hope everybody doing good. Man, I'm about to out fast. Yeah, everybody can hear real good and everything. I had to play my little music in the background. I gotta have some playing, you know what I'm saying? I can't have it all uh, quiet. I can't stand it. There we go. Get them all rolling now. Nah, we jamming now. Nah. All right, now nah, I'll pick this mug back up. Yeah, much peace and love to everybody pulling in. So you got to spend. <laughs> I was going to rock. I got one rolled up, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and chill. You say you still nasty. No, I'm, I'm thugging in St. Louis right now. Shout out to everybody. Got the lemon water with me. Yeah, man. So... You know, since it's a nice little amount of people in here, I guess we can go and get started. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to talk about the whole thing. You know what I mean? How, why I went to Africa. You know, uh, how I ran into JT. You know, uh, about the land. Did I get some land from JT? All of that, you know what I mean? But, you know what I'm saying? You know, I got this other look. This other look stand. I don't know if this mother will be strong enough, man. Let me test this motherfucker out right quick, man. This mother kind of small, but I ain't trying to be holding this mother like that, man. Let's see if I can get it up there night. I got this big ass out of box case. I don't know if that mother gonna fit. This motherfucker. Just trying to get up there now. Yeah, that mug ain't gonna work. Damn, I don't know why that mug won't flip sideways on me. It ain't never did that. I ain't went live in a minute because YouTube was playing and shit. But yeah, man, anyway, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I was like, you know what, man? On some, on some uh, Hebrew Israelite shit. I was like, no, nah, I gotta go to Africa, you know what I'm saying? Merchant, merchant the DM, you know what I'm saying? Y'all go ahead and. Gonna get in the description, I mean. Got my stuff going. But yeah, anyway, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do some DNA test type shit. You know, I'm gonna do some DNA test type shit. Then uh, I did the DNA test. And it came back and said Burkina Faso. This up. So I was like, I was like, man, what the hell is, what the hell is Burkina Faso? I ain't never heard of that before. So then... I had went on the head and uh, just looked it up, you know what I'm saying? Went on YouTube, 
looked up if anybody went out there or whatever. And then, you know, JT had popped up. I seen him out there or whatever. You know what I mean? So, uh, I was like, all right, then. Uh, let me go ahead and look at, look at this shit. Because I don't know. I ain't know him at the time. I ain't know JT. But then I seen he had did uh, Snow snow on the Bluff. I think that is the Atlanta movie. You know what I'm saying? I had seen that. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, I know that movie. So then, you know what I mean? I'm like, let me see what he got going on. Then uh, I say he was selling land. So, you know what I'm saying? I went on and put a little, little, little something on there. I ain't pay that much, you know what I mean? I, it was like 500 or something like that. But I was already talking. I was already talking to the Bissa tribe. And uh, you know, I was talking to the Mossy tribe, too. I was talking to both of them already. And uh, we was getting everything established, like, you know, what's going down when I touch down, uh, how long I be in the capital, this, then the third, you know what I mean? So I touched down, and uh, I was in the capital for, like, I was in the capital for, like, maybe three or four days. It was, like, maybe three or four days, you know what I'm saying? One hand paid for the room. Matter of fact, I seen JT first. I had seen him first. And, um, you know, I pulled up to his crib. You know, he had dropped some chicken off to us and shit like that, you know. A nice little nice amount, you know what I'm saying? We ate that or whatever. Then pulled up to the crib. He had actually uh, did an interview. Um, well, you know, just asking, you know, when made me come out there and everything. I just tell him about the DNA test and everything like that. And I was just telling him, you know, about the Bissa tribe and everything. He was like, damn, all right. You know what I mean? And so the whole time, I wasn't around him at all, you know what I'm saying? And then uh, I end up sliding out to uh, to Zabra, which y'all can check it out on my page if y'all ain't never seen it or whatever. Go to the beginning of my page and everything like that. Uh, my beginning of my videos on the page on taking the DNA test and going out to Zabra and all of that, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, I goes out to Zabra, and I'm out there for like... I'm out there for like, uh, I think it was like four or six months. I was out there straight, you know what I'm saying? Me and my family, me and my wife and kids, you know what I'm saying? And then my page started getting noticed when uh, I ain't had no monetization, nothing going, you know what I'm saying? But I started getting noticed when old boy had died out there, you know what I'm saying? I was going on there like, ah, oh, nah, hold on. Somebody from America had died out here, like, it ain't sit right. So I'm like, man, what's going on, you know what I mean? And I think I seen JT say something about it first. So I was like, nah, let me let me get on there and let everybody know I'm straight. You know what I'm saying? Because I was by myself. You know, I was always in Zabra by myself. When nobody out there with me, it was just me and my family. You know what I'm saying? And then uh, after that, you know, my page had started going through the roof. And then, uh, long story short, you know, uh, by the time I was making my way back, to Wagadougou just to pull up out there, you know what I'm saying, chill and get back to the, uh, it's like, it's like, it's, it's a, another backstory to it too, but you know, I'll say that for another live, you know what I'm saying, I just want to get to the point of this one, but you know, in the city though, in the capital, you know, you can get to things quicker, you know what I'm saying, everything around that you need to get to, and you know, me and my family, it was the best thing at the time, you know what I mean, but when I got back to the capital, JT was already going to Kenya. You know what I'm saying? He was already, he was on his way out to Kenya. You know what I mean? I forgot uh, what situation or whatever I had heard about. But, you know, uh, yeah, I was out there. And um, by the time I came back, you know what I mean? That's when I had started seeing Cuz Cuddy and them and a few more people that pulled up out there. And, um, you know what I'm saying? Just showing love to the people. They was with me or whatever when I was showing love to the people or whatever what I was doing. So sometimes, you know, we had a couple pictures and stuff like that. And uh, and much love to everybody who came out there and paid respect. But, you know, that was that's one thing I didn't like. Uh, damn, I didn't know y'all was commenting. I'm going to get to them in a second, though. But shout out to Cuz Cuz. But uh, anyway, man, I was like, um, you know what? I ain't, that's the only thing I did. Like, I ain't like Bo Foundation. Uh, ain't no disrespect to them. I ain't like Bo Foundation taking pictures of me showing love to the people. You know, I'm just not that type of person where uh, I'm showing that I'm helping people. You know what I'm saying? I ain't like that. You know what I mean? But, it, it, but the good thing about it, 
everybody seen me with, you know, Cuz Cuddy and the other sister that had came out there. And, you know, we was just all doing our thing or whatever, you know what I mean? But, yeah, by that time, JT was already gone, but I had uh, got a call from him. And he, that's when he was telling me about uh, I could transfer the land, you know what I mean? But um, at the time, you know what I'm saying, not to brag and nothing like that, but I was up, you know what I'm saying? I was up. So it was like, damn, I don't know about, I don't know about the transferring the land, you know what I mean? I don't know about that. I have to sit on. I have to think about that. You know what I mean? So I was just let them know. I just I see about that. You know what I'm saying? But in the process, I had I had bought I had other land out there. I got the paperwork for that and everything. I be talking to them all the time. They be <laughs> they be y'all. Uh, they be ready to uh get some constructed on the land. Be telling me about it all the time. But that's neither here nor there. But uh overall, you know. It was just like, in my situation, it's kind of a little bit different because, you know, I was doing my own thing so much and I was like having so much other shit going on that I really ain't, I really ain't have no, no uh, time to be around JT or he was going through this shit. He had his own thing going on too. So we was both busy moving two different ways, you know what I'm saying? And then everything. I was doing it was mad that I came to the capital too. This was mad that I came to the capital again. They wanted me to come back to the village, you know what I'm saying? The village was turned up too, boy. When I got there, you know what I'm saying? They was doing their thing, but in the midst of me being there, boy, they built new street lights, they built a new club, they started building new stores. I'm talking about it was lit. The king built him a brand new mansion. Bro, I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you. This is like what I was out there around. There was so much stuff going on out there that a lot of people ain't get to uh, see it about while I was out there, you know what I mean? But I went through a lot in Zebra, not nothing bad for real. You know, it's just, you know, that's neither here nor there, man. Niggas all around the world go try to get you for, for some bread. You know how that go, but, but uh, yeah, I'm sorry to everybody who went through that shit, you know, it was just kind of with me. Uh, it kind of hit a little different because it was just like to the point where I was just like, you know, man, fuck it. I ain't really tripping off. It wasn't like I had to fight him for the land and nothing like that. Or I was arguing with him about it. It was just like I had so much going on that it was just like, man, you know what? Let me just go this route and keep on doing my thing because I'm just too busy. I get too much shit going on. I ended up having to get a car for me and my family because I got tired of people trying to drive me around. I ain't like that. So I bought a whip. I got a couple of motorcycles. You know what I'm saying? So it's just the fact of me being so busy. You know what I'm saying? I still ain't even talked to him. I tried to talk to him about, uh, yeah, so what's good with that land? And nothing like that, you know what I mean? It's just like, shit, I got land. It was just like, fuck it, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't even thinking about it no more for real. So overall, I say, yeah, I came out like a, whole, a, a band. You know what I mean? But I ain't never get no paperwork for that. But I got paperwork for my land that I got individually for me and my family. You know what I mean? But uh, it wasn't no big deal. Like I said, it'd be on the flip side if it was like, uh, and this ain't no disrespect to nobody, you know. But it would be on the flip side for me if it wasn't about me coming to go to the village and shit like that. And then I had more time to just stick around and be around around the vicinity where he at. And then ain't nothing. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing bubbling. Then I probably would have been like, man, come on, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's going on? Yada, yada. Because I wasn't trying to uh, bust no moves and nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, the YouTube thing, it was doing cool for me and everything. Uh, just as far as letting everybody get to see what I was doing. You know what I'm saying? And letting everybody uh, get to see how I was handling Things I was alone, you know, I was alone the whole time trying to figure things out, but they was a good help for the most part, you know what I'm saying? Uh the brothers and sisters out there, they was helping me out, you know, take it. They try to they try to cut a place all time. He can't be bad, he can't be mad at that. You know what I'm saying? It was a small, it was smaller plays, but they try to cut them play, you know what I'm saying? Try to hey, let me let me buy this. I'm like, nah, I'm buying it. I, I'm 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 gonna go to the store and buy it, bro. They start getting mad at that. Like, man, this nigga going to the store, his son, he getting all his groceries, he paying his electric bill, he got his own motorcycle, he getting his own gas. I was getting everything myself, bro. That's how I was moving. It just got so serious. I was so so tied in and so up under my family. And then I recorded an album out there. I was back and forth in the studio. I had a lot going on, man. 
So it was like, I didn't fully even get to see what JT was doing all the time. I didn't even know he had a problem. Because I, uh, I started hearing, uh, I remember it was a chick. Uh, this one chick had came from Atlanta. One of y'all probably remember his name. I mean, his, her name. I forgot her name, man. But her and JT started getting into it out there. You know what I'm saying? And then when JT started getting mad at the Bow Foundation, that's when he shook and went to Kenya. You know what I'm saying? I remember this whole thing unveiling. You know what I'm saying? I was back in the uh, capital by that time. So, you know, that's why my little situation kind of worked out a little. Div yeah, Queen L, that's her name. That's her name, Queen L. You know what I mean? Uh, I had kicked it with her, too. I kicked it with everybody that came out there. I had touched down with everybody that pulled up out there. I was out there, and I was uh, rolling around by myself. You know what I'm saying? I was going to the ATM by myself. Yeah, I'm going to the ATM, pulling them out by myself. You know what I'm saying? My folks looking at me like, damn, this nigga right here is crazy. Like, you know, but yeah, I took care of all that. I was just so busy, man. I went and got a refrigerator by myself. I had a dude follow me back on the motorcycle. I had went and got a, a stove. You know what I mean? And matter of fact, I had got that in the village, but we transferred it over to the capital. But I had furniture. You know what I'm saying? All that, man. And even with that, I left a lot of that. Like, you know what I mean? I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna put nobody else in my shoes, and I ain't gonna flip it around. But you know what I'm saying? That's how much money don't mean nothing to me, man. That shit don't mean nothing to me, man. It's like after that, I, I got land. I already got the land and shit already. You know what I'm saying? And uh, so I was like, shit, that'd be cool. Cause I'm thinking of it like two or three for one. Cause the village actually owe me land. They never gave me the land. They, they had a little problem. They really ain't want to give me the land. You know what I'm saying? But they supposed to give me the land. That was a talk of it, but they ain't never give it to me. So I went back to the capital and I got land. And then I ain't never get to touch bases or go see the land that JT had. That was in the midst of his problems. It probably would have worked out a little bit. I probably would have at least got to see it. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't never even get to see the land. You know what I mean? But it wasn't no big deal, man. I wasn't even tripping off of it. I was like, you know what? Let me go drop this bag. Went and dropped the bag. Got some land. Put all the paper in, in my name. Everything straight. Everything good on my end. You know what I'm saying? But uh, on the flip side... I respect and I can understand, you know what I'm saying? Anybody being upset about, you know, losing out on money and shit like that, you know, it ain't never no game or, you know what I'm saying, nothing to take lightly. But that was the whole thing. I know everybody probably like, damn, I remember this nigga, but it was kind of weird how it's working out, you know what I'm saying? Hold on, let me, let me scroll up. Shout out to everybody, 18 and 10. Cuz Cuddy, shout out, shout out. Yeah, that shit with Queen L was crazy, though. It was kind of weird. It was kind of crazy. You know, no disrespect to her, but it was kind of, it was kind of all just weird how everything worked out. You know, uh, I don't really know what the, uh, I don't really know what, what the whole thing was. That's how much I was to myself that I was like, you know what, bro, uh, that shit that, that uh, JT and Queen L got going on, <laughs> they don't got nothing to do with me. And then it was the thing I remember when, when she was when she was uh doing all her business through Chalky. So because Chalky was helping JT at first, <laughs> then, then he was helping Queen L. You know what I'm saying? I've been talking to Chalky from time to time. Shout out to Chalky, man. I don't got no bad feelings with nobody out there. Whatever. I rap with it. I rap with. Uh, I want to say a couple names, I'll be forgetting, but a couple bits of brothers, a couple monster brothers, you know what I'm saying? I chat with them here and there, you know what I mean? They be just hiding at me, seeing how everything holding up, you know what I mean? But it feel good to have all of that, you know, uh, have all that to curl. Just say she got some witchcraft on me. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know, maybe she did have some shit going on, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, man. On some hard drugs. Man, we here in America. Yeah, I'm back in the land now. You know what I'm saying? I touched down on some family, on some family business. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Africa. I'm happy I got the land out there. You know, shout out to Cuz Cuddy still out there. You know what I'm saying? In Burkina Faso. It was crazy. Like, the reason made me want to do the live 
because I had a bro who hit me up. He was like, man, you been seeing the shit that's been going down? I'm like, what you talking about? He was like, because Cuddy and JT get into it. And yada yada. I'm like, what? Cuz Cuddy just got back. I thought we were talking about. Like, man, look at the shit. Then I looked at the shit. I was all the way lost. And then uh I've been so tied in that, you know what I mean? I went hit to ATM 10 yet. So I'm just lost all the way around. I'm like, man, what the hell is going down? Then I'm hearing shit about a possible Rico. And I'm like, whoa, bro. Like, hey, but this ain't nothing that's like a surprise. Like it, you know what I'm saying? If, you know, if you do your wrong, you got to pay for your deeds, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, hey, as far as me, man, it, ain't, it wasn't no, I, I wasn't on the uh, switching my land over to Kenya. I just, I just wasn't feeling that at the time, you know what I'm saying? I was too up. I was too up, man. I was too, I'm still up. Like, they be hitting me up all the time. And, you know, everybody, everybody that see me know me, you know what I'm saying? Everybody that see me know me. You know, I have to wear a mask everywhere I go. Uh, yeah, I was lost as hell. I was, I was confused because uh, I've been handling so much business, re-releasing all my music and releasing new music. And uh, and YouTube been playing games because I be putting too much of my music on my vlog page. And then I be, uh, I be putting too much truth on there. I be telling, you know, giving information and stuff like this. So they like, oh, no, nah, we just cut your monetization out. Hey, nigga, I don't give a damn. I make money off my music anyway. Like, I've been putting music on my page since I got to Africa. I was making money off my music before Africa. But it worked out cool. You know, I had a good time, man. And, and uh, I was glad of the traveling, man. I got to get around. I got to see so many kings. I hit so many villages. I did so many interviews. You know what I'm saying? I did all that by myself, and I'm happy. That, uh, you know, my kids got to see all of that. Got land. Still got the paperwork for it and everything like that. And then, you know, I got more land in America, too. I got land in America. You know what I mean? I got that land tied up. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's a W all the way around the board. You know, I want to get some land in Jamaica, too. You know what I mean? So I could just travel. You know, live my life, travel, have a good time. You know what I mean? Get my kids around. You no know, passport it up. Move around and see things, learn things, you know what I'm saying? As far as uh you know what I'm saying, just to cut to the chase as far as just to cut past the the JT part, you know what I'm saying? Have a um let's say you're really about that UFO land with the military airport. Yeah, hey. Yeah. That was crazy, man. I'm sad that my page had took off after uh after I um after I had to talk about that. Who or who rules from South Africa? But yeah, it was sad, man. It was weird though. And I remember him being I remember when he arrived, you know, and that's when I was in uh, I was in Zabra when he arrived. And um I had been on this. I was in. I was in a little mini mansion out there in Zavri. You know, they was taking care of me, man. I was, I was doing good, man. It just got to the point where they was just like, "This nigga trying to do too much on his own, though." Like, they wanted to wash my clothes and they wanted to get my food for me and they wanted to take me if I want. I'm like, nah, bro. If I want to go drink some beers, I'll get me some to drink or get my baby some Pampers or, you know, I want to go to the store. I'm doing this, bro. I'm, I'm doing it, bro. I, I, don't, I don't live like that. You know, I don't do that. I don't, I don't like that. It's cool, though. But, you know, I just like to move around. You know what I'm saying? Much peace and love. Much peace and love. Much appreciated. 100. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I just had a good time, though. And that's just how I get down. You know what I mean? Anywhere I'm at. You know what I mean? I just like to handle business and I like to be, I get it from my mama. I like to be on top of things and very watchful of, uh, like, for instance, if I give you $20 to tell you to go to the store and get me some potatoes or some rice, shit, that rice might cost $5. I'm going to go to the store and find out for myself, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, so, yeah. But I had a good time, man. They, they, they did let me know where everything get. I started burning my own trash. I had did that out there too, man. You know, but that was cool up in the Bissa Village. You know, we used to be drinking, talking, vibing. You know, drinking the uh, traditional wine out there. So that's what I'm saying. Like, that's how that's how uh, that's how away I was from um 
I ain't even. I, I was out there in the village, like I was already in the village, thinking to myself, like, damn, I guess I just bought the land for nothing because I'm out here in the village, like. Oh well, fuck it, man. I dropped the bread on him, but at least I got it. So that was on my mind. But you no, know, until I actually did the land and got paperwork, then I realized that it just it was done, but it wasn't done correctly. You know what I'm saying? But then I started thinking about too. It was just probably like a situation where it's just like like I bought land, right? Like I got my land. So if I just said like, look, you're not gonna get no plot. But I got land. So all y'all could just give me some bread and then it could be like y'all put in so you could just build and this your land too. You know what I'm saying? So I was kind of looking at it like that because, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't really no plots or nothing I saying like that or whatever, you know what I mean? So it was just like, hey, have it go. You know, fuck it. It went down. But I went with transferring over to Kenya. You know, Kenya looked nice though. Ethiopia was real nice. Ethiopia was real nice. I've been to Ethiopia too. That was real nice over there, man. But uh, Kenya, I wasn't, I wasn't ready for no for no uh, Kenya at the time, you know. But hey, look, like it was out there doing their thing, bro. It was out there doing their thing, you know what I mean? You no. Know? But uh, yeah, the whole situation was crazy, man. And uh. And I definitely think I, I definitely thought to myself that I'd speak on it just so everybody know, you know how I was tied in. But yeah, I did. I did get some land from them, but it was like it was almost like it was a double cross. Like you know what I'm saying? It was like somebody might look at it and be like, "Yeah, he's scamming, he's scamming," but it was almost like I scammed myself because it was like when I came. I went nowhere around him, you know what I'm saying? I'm going in the village, I'm hanging, I'm all new people, you know, I got, it's basically, I got my own clique, you know what I'm saying? Then it was like, I was with a whole different hood, because I was with a whole different tribe than he was with, you know what I'm saying? And so, I saw all the bits of, all the bits of villages. I'm looking into all the bits of villages, I'm out there with all the bits of kings, you know what I'm saying? So it was like that, you know what I mean? But, um. Overall, man, it was a learning experience. You know, I just wish that uh, it was smart for me to look, man, because I ain't know nothing. But I ain't never heard of no Bikini Faso. So it was like, look on the internet and see what you can find about Bikini Faso. But if I wouldn't have found that, I would have just came straight out there, did the same thing I did, and went straight to the village, probably went back to the capital, and did everything I did, but just without JT being included. You see what I'm saying? It probably would have been like that, you know what I'm saying? But it's neither here nor there, man. And shit, as far as like, damn, you want to fight to get the bread back or whatever? It's like, man, fuck it, man. It is what it is. Shit, right now, I ain't really tripping off of it. You know, at all. It ain't It ain't been no big deal to me. I actually thought about this the same way because I got a W, you know, the whole way around. I mean, I mean, I was making, uh, I was making that bread times a little bit. I was making that bread while I was out there. No job, though. Like, you can't go to Africa and get no job. But I was making my bread. Behind my music and everything, I was making my bread. So the money I spent to get the land, I made that back real quick. And to be out there and be taking care of five kids and a wife and paying rent and paying electricity bills, paying for phone bills, paying for food, make sure y'all got everything. I had a baby out there with me. I got to make sure she got pamphlets, you know what I'm saying? And You know what I mean? Like, you got to be you got to be organized going, too, man. Don't take that lightly. You know what I'm saying? Have it on your head, too. You going to go and go. Yeah, be, be on point, you know. You're going to have to have a little sack. You're going to have a little sack. Go out there and have you a good time. Had a motorcycle. One of them got stole out there. I had one motorcycle got stole. I had to buy. I bought another one. Like, I could buy another one, nigga. I know, it was like, motherfucker. Bought a car and everything, but... You know what I'm saying? It was all to the G though, man. I had I had a good time, man. Learned a lot. You know, the time I I did see JT, I seen him. Was that one time I seen him out there? I think it, it was two times. I seen him two times. When I first got there, I seen him the second day. And that's when he dropped off some chicken and shit. That was on his page too, man. I don't even I ain't seen his page. I don't know if his page gone. The page might be gone. I ain't seen this page, but uh, yeah, I remember I was on there. 
And then uh, the other video was on this page where, uh, you know, we just talked about why I came out there or whatever. I wasn't even talking about the land then. I'm talking about going to the village, you know. I wasn't even tripping off the land. When I got there, I went in like, nigga, I know we did that, but, you know, I ain't even tripping off of it. I'm going to zip out here, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I thought about it a lot different, but they was already, I was on the phone with them. I was talking to them before I, I uh, touched down, so I had already built a relationship with them. Uh, I was talking to some people in the government. I ain't never see the president or talk to the president, but I was talking to some people, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it was heavy, man. It was deep. It was a lot of things, man. Then, like, uh, when I started recording my album out there, you know what I'm saying? That was crazy. You know, it was a crazy experience recording the album out there, going back and forth to the studio, coming home at 4 o'clock in the morning from the studio. You know, I had to get that done, though, you know what I mean? But, yeah, it felt good, though, man. So, you know, from my point, I don't wish nobody nothing, man, nothing bad. You know, I hate to see uh, what it wrong, and I, I definitely ain't go tell nobody not to be upset about it. Taking no L, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna tell nobody. Hey, look, man, just say forget it. Nah, <laughs> nah, handle it, handle your business. You know what I'm saying? Handle your business, man. Stand on yours. How you feel about it? Just worked out a little different for me than the way I was moving. You know what I'm saying? But as far as anybody else go that did take any loss or anything like that, yeah, man, handle that, man. Handle your business, man, and stay on it. You know what I mean? Much peace and love, much peace and love. Yeah, man, like, um, like yeah, I spoke on it a couple times before, you know, uh, man, you know, uh, I spoke on, uh, I, I ain't speak, I didn't speak on how I, I, I spoke on how I bought land. I didn't speak on I bought land from JT. I ain't never touched down on it, but once all this shit started coming out, then I was like, you know what, man, let me let everybody know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I bought some land from JT too. You know what I mean? He had different variations of prices too. I forgot how he had it set up, but uh, you know how I bought my I bought, I bought the low ball. I want I wasn't trying to drop a bag on him like that. You know, I was just trying to come out there and do my thing. So, you no, know, I heard about some crazy prices like motherfuckers talking about they old. So, I'm like, hey, bro, hey, stand stand don't it, bro, stand don't it, bro. Hey, I'm not mad at you if you upset like that. But you know what I mean? All the situations, all the situations, you know what I'm saying? They ain't got nothing to do with me, you know what I'm saying? So, what's up, cuz, cuz? Shit, me and cuz, cuz, it was Gucci, you know what I mean? I just, I do remember the time, you know what I'm saying? Where, uh, you know, uh, like, uh, what is that? Uh, Chaco and them. I was, <laughs> I was talking to Chaco too. I was like, "Hey, Chaco, pull up." You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go live. Pull up to the live. He's like, "Nah, I ain't. I'm cool." <laughs> Chaco like, "Nah, nigga, I ain't trying." Nah, the boy, yeah, you know, I don't, I don't know the whole T. You know what I'm saying? We don't, we, I don't know the whole T on everything, and you know, I went looking at everything as far as uh. I just know because Cuddy came out there, he was doing his thing, and you know what I'm saying? He was sticking by JT and handling business, you know what I'm saying? But at this time, where it was like, I, I know JT had shook before Cuz Cuddy, and then Cuz Cuddy started having some problems, but I, I was just saying it like, it looked like they taking it out on Cuz Cuddy, you know what I'm saying? They pissed off at this nigga, and then Cuz Cuddy had shook up out of there, you know what I'm saying? And went on ahead to Kenya for a little, a little wop wop. They did his thing, but you know what I'm saying? They was moving back and forth, doing his thing, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? So, you know, he came back and forth, he was doing his thing, and, you know, that's all it was to me. But overall, yeah, he was handling business and, you know, just trying to hold it down. And it, it was a lot of people came out there and was trying to hold it down with JT. And, you know, uh, looking at it like things they could do to help the people and... I think it just kind of got a little overwhelming for uh the JT. Just, I don't think he expected so many people to come out there, bro. I don't think he expected so many people to pull up. And Bikini Fossil, you know what I'm saying? It started being like, no, nah, motherfuckers touch down. Like, and then I think uh, you know, I think I added to it because I'm in a separate place. I'm over in the village, he over in the capital. 
his numbers up, my numbers start going up, and people seeing a different size. So it's just like I think a lot of people is just looking at it like you know what we're coming out there. You know what I'm saying? Then a lot of people start coming out there, and then you know JT just started doing this Kenya thing. You know what I mean? So like uh, all this shit with him and Queen Ill, and it was all wild, man. It was all wild, bro. Oh yeah, I, mean, I ain't. I didn't. Uh, I didn't expect as many people to be pulling up neither. But uh, I say, I say, I didn't expect. I think it was. A, I think I don't want to put it like it was a government thing, but I said like I think it was a thing to make it kind of like where it could work out, like where it was trying trying to have it to wear it. as we all pulling up from America like try to keep us close and I think that was kind of a thing that that, that, that I don't think it really was a thing that you know uh, it wasn't in his best interest you know what I'm saying I think let motherfuckers come out here and do their thing bro like we pull up all of them weren't close all of them weren't together bro the tribes the tribes is not kicking it together out there in Bikini Falls, uh, you go see Bissa or Bissa. Matter of fact, they, they be talking about each other, you know what I mean? But a lot of it, it don't be no harm. It be a lot of jokes and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Man, a lot of them hearing that, you know, I came behind Bissa, so I had a lot of them be joning on me and talking about Bissa tribe and shit like that. Oh, man, no, Bissa this and that, you know what I'm saying? But uh, overall, you know, it's a good vibe. Everybody just come and do their thing. You go go to Africa, you know, pull up, but you know what I'm saying? Get your footing and do your own thing. You know, I think that's the best thing for real. You know, it's a lot to be taking. That's, it's already a lot pulling up. That's a lot, bro. Like, it's a lot to be expecting or it's a lot for, for somebody else. Like, for you to be putting on somebody else for you. You know what I mean? But if somebody go put that in the erdo and then come back, like JT situation, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, motherfuckers pulling up and they trying to see you because of the land, you know what I'm saying? So like, everybody really had on their mind probably like, I ain't gonna be in a hotel for the pull up. I, we could be all on the land and we could be kicking it, but it wasn't like that, you know what I'm saying? But in my circumstance, I probably would have been on that mindset watching uh Bag Family and all of that, out in the Gambia and all of that, how things was going with them. And so I'm like, yeah, I'm pulling up and we could be on this big land. But shit, by the time I got in touch with Bissa and all of that, I was like, damn, I'm going to be in the village. It was kind of scary, too. I ain't going to care because they was deep. They was so deep. They followed me in so many cars and motorcycles all the way to the crib. But once we got to the crib, everybody just scrammed and um, went on about their way. But everybody knew who I was. Everybody knew who I was. Everybody followed us. And we went to go see the king and we did all of that. There was so many people out in the street that we was kind of knowing about that. But then after we got settled and shit, everybody just went that way. They weren't tripping it. They was just happy I was out there. But, you know, uh, overall, man, you know, with the experience I had and shit, it was kind of, it was kind of, uh, yeah, man, peace and love to ATM, man, cuz, man, you know, <laughs> y'all niggas, y'all niggas threw me even more. I'm like, now what the fuck going on? But I ain't even go. I ain't gonna go trip where everybody had their own, you know what I'm saying? It happens like that, man. Yeah, shout out to the bad, the bad, bad family boy. Bad family had me like, I ain't give a damn what the test said. I was gonna pull up anywhere, you know what I'm saying? I was gonna pull up anywhere, you know, but the brothers and sisters went through a lot in the Gambia. Y'all pay attention to these things, man. It's a lot of things going on in the Gambia. You know, uh, it's been brothers and sisters' village. I'm talking about people from America. Brothers, sisters, villages torn down in, in Ghana. You know what I'm saying? It be things going down in Nigeria. It be things going down in South Africa. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a lot of things. You know what I mean? So, you know, you just got to stay on your toes and be watchful because you can deal with these things anywhere. So don't think, you know what I'm saying? Don't think it's uh, uh, you're going to heaven. It's just like you going to a place where you you got you're not gonna have to think about the things you was thinking about totally, but you just gotta learn about the area. You know what I'm saying? You gotta learn about where you at. And you just gotta be careful, man, but you gotta know that yes, they want the bag. They want the bag, so they might build you a wall and then say, Oh, we don't know how I feel. 
So we got to build it again, drop a little more bread. You know what I'm saying? It might be so small, but and they money is small to us. But, you know, you just get tired of going, you know what I'm saying, over and over. I had a few arguments with them and all that type of shit out there, man. I got into it with them or I ain't get into it. I ain't never got into it with nobody from America out there. I got a tour with them out there. I used to be getting a tour with them out there about a bunch of type of shit, man. I got tired of shit a lot of times. But these things happen, man. It happened everywhere. So it ain't no surprise. You know what I'm saying? It ain't no surprise. You got to be on your toes, move carefully. But you know what I'm saying? Much love to all the brothers and sisters. Uh, whether you pulling up out there or, you know what I'm saying, you get things settled back home, however you doing it, or anywhere you traveling. It's good to travel, though. You know what I mean? I got to learn a lot. Much peace and love, man. <laughs> Sick. What's up, bro? Much peace and love. What's up with it? What's up with it? You no know, shout out to everybody that pulled through, you know what I mean? You know, y'all can share it. You no, know, all that. I ain't really tripping out the lights or nothing like that. I just wanted to give my two cents in on it because I know. A lot of people remember me or be tripping off of how things went with me or how I'm going about things or how I think about things. You know, do I got a problem with JT? I wish something on him. Nah, but I'm I'm gonna say, you know, something. No, I ain't I ain't wishing nothing on him, but you know what I'm saying? But if, you know, things went down, it wouldn't be a surprise then if these many people are crying out, you know what I'm saying? But uh I ain't got no hate for him, no down, no down feelings about him. You know, none of the brothers and sisters coming from the states and nothing like that. You know, gonna did their thing out there, whatever. But I will say, you know, be thoughtful, move smart. You know, watch how you move and, you know, with them and anybody else. Like you trying to get land from their mayor, came from America, anywhere it go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you better watch your back all the way around. It's no rest moment. There's no rest moment. You now, I got my bike stole out there in Africa from them. JT is still my bike. You know, cuz Cuddy didn't steal my bike, you know what I'm saying? But shout out, shout out to Bikini Fossil. I ain't got no problem with none of them about the bike and shit like that. Coming to me, I just looked at it like it's some hood shit, you know what I'm saying? The bike gone, bro. I should have been on my toes more. The next bike I was on my toes more, I got a lock on there, well, and they couldn't snatch that one. I had started learning about that at that time about how many bikes be getting stolen, though, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, keep pushing for the good, man. 100, you know what I'm saying? I ain't wishing nothing, nothing on nobody, you know what I'm saying? They say, would you take the citizenship of Bikini? It depends on how I roll, man, because if it, if it was like, a, if they had give it to me, I, I take it, but I never give up my citizenship in America. You know what I'm saying? I say that. I put that point blank. You know what I mean? Everybody different. Though. Somebody else might say they had denounced their citizenship and they'd take that one. I mean, that's all cool. That's all gravy if you would move like that. But I never give up my American citizenship. You know what I'm saying? I took African. I took the African American uh, ancestry. One thing about that though. One thing about that though, bro. I want y'all to know this is. I took mine, so we went out to the King of Fossil. So my wife, we got to the King of Fossil. My wife was like, you know what, man? I want to take mine too, but she couldn't get it sent out to Africa for some weird reason, man. They weren't sending it out there. They weren't sending them out there or whatever. It wasn't, it, wasn't, uh, it wasn't easy to get the test to be sent out there for you to take it, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, on the back end play, I did two things in my life, though. You know, before I get up out of here, you know what I mean? But shout out to everybody who pulled up and, you know, listen in. I hope, you know, however it go, everybody take care of their situation. Everybody, you know what I'm saying, find their way. Everybody keep doing their thing. La la, shout out. You know what I'm saying? But uh, did you get your certificate? Oh, yeah, for uh, for the DNA, I did. Yeah, I got a little certificate for it. But you know, on the back end, which is more important to me, I have all my uh, my family uh, uh, all my family land in America. I have all my family documents and records from America too. You know, I have all the physical documents. You know what I'm saying? All the land. Uh, I guess you would say the land patents or. Uh, the land where my family is from. All my family from Mississippi, for real. And I got all that land. So I got land in America and I got land in Burkina Faso, so it feel good. And uh, it feel good to be able to travel. I talked to, talk to them out there about this too. 
I actually got into it with a sister one time. Before I get up out of here, I'll tell you our last story, man. This is beside the point. But I got into an argument with a sister in the village, right? They brought me out there. It was like a big show going on, you know what I'm saying? And uh, she was like, we was eating at this time. It was after the show was over. They drinking, eating. I'm like, damn, they really fucking kicking it. You know what I'm saying? So we over there eating. I'm talking about motherfuckers passed out, like, drinking. That's how they drink. They wake up drinking, they party all day long. That's all they do. But anyway, she like, uh, this sister, like, what made you what made you come out here? You know what I'm saying? I was like, uh, because I'm Bikini Bay or whatever. She was like, you're not Bikini Bay. I was like, hey, that's what my DNA test say. She was like, you American. You know what I'm saying? And I was just like, hey, that's that's what the that's what the test say. You know what I'm saying? It ain't moved me no type of way. But you know, I I I appreciate her holding her nuts on that and being real. I talked to a couple of people about that. A couple of brothers was like, what made you come out here or whatever? You know what I'm saying? Yada, yada. I done had plenty of talks in the village. They kept it the most real in Zabra. They kept it the most real. It wasn't nothing personal. Like, man, get your bitch ass out of here. Or you, you, you white or something. It wasn't nothing like that. Everybody called me, uh, everybody used to call me, uh, Rasta all the time. You know what I'm saying? They weren't never mean and no assholes. They was very gracious to me, but they was just letting me know, hey, bro, you you are American, though. You know what I'm saying? I was just like, hey, man, you know, but they kept it real. You know, I love that. I, I got kept real with uh, brothers and sisters, but I know Africans before I went to Africa. They would tell me the same thing, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, searching, searching the records. Yeah, exactly. That's true. That's true. Yahweh is real. That is very true. But yeah, the searching documents and the records and all of that, man. You know, uh, it, it mean a lot to me both ways. And I ain't got no bad feelings, and I ain't got no uh, strife with nobody in Africa. We actually all cool. We actually all talk. They just be wanting to know when I'm pulled back up, and you know, I be trying to see when I'm scheduled things. I actually want to pull up in Jamaica first. I've been planning that for a while, you know what I'm saying? And I've just been taking care of other family business. They say it's Bikini Fossil Dangerous right now. They had some things going on uh, with with uh, with the, with the uh, with France and some things going on in the villages. But these things be they was happening when I was there. Them things was happening when I was there too. It's some, it's, some, it's some things you wouldn't even think that's going on for real, you know. That could be happening around you. That's why I'm like, you gotta be careful, man. Because the way the governments might move in some places and doing things, you might never even know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, they, a few months back they had some things really going on. It seemed like they really kind of notched it down. Nine ain't as big. Like, they were all out in the streets and stuff like that. But overall, Bikini Faso cool. Even in that time, you will still be okay for the most part unless somebody really got some smoke on you or something like that or they want to do you something, you know what I'm saying, for whatever reason. But, yeah, much peace and love to all y'all. Much peace and love to the ancestors. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody who pulled up. Shout out to Cuz Cuddy, JT, ATM Tim, now all my people worldwide doing y'all thing, man. Much peace and love to y'all, man. And yeah, get you a passport and make sure you go ahead and uh get you a little traveling. Hold on, it's a like in Jamaica they probably would think you about. <laughs> yeah, I always have Jamaicans asking me in my Jamaican. I don't have uh, every Jamaican I ran across always asked me if I'm Jamaican. But much peace and love to Jamaica. You know, I got to pull up out there while I go on. But much peace and love to y'all. Shout out to uh, Bikini Faso. And, you know, everybody else that's out there, you know, scattered in different parts. You got some brothers and sisters in Nigeria, Liberia, Ghana, uh, probably in South Africa. I know a few brothers and sisters from South Africa, too. I know, I know a few Africans, bro. You know what I'm saying? Most peace and love to everybody, man. Salute, y'all.